guys welcome 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 once more to my channel this is your girl Sabina formerly known as Pat Beauty here on YouTube guys you know on this channel what we do is we do the look for less you can call it Gucci on the budget you can call it back in prices guys we try to just bring pieces that we find beautiful guys those are not like just any cheap things we find we go looking for value on backing prices and then just start into our own unique liking so today is no exception today is just um a collective haul we're going to be doing but before we go into the haul to all of my old subscribers thank you so much thank you thank you so much for sticking by all this while we are gradually growing um but thank you so much for hanging out with me and i hope i continue to bring you content that you like if you have any suggestion let me know and then we will take it from there to all of my new subscriber guys i saw i had two new subscribers this week i tried to look through my phone to see your names and shout out to you guys but i wasn't able to do it i will go on my computer however and then shout you as god properly i appreciate you thank you for joining the family welcome 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 i hope this content is something that you are interested in if not let me know what you guys would like to see me do what i do here guys i look for cheap and make them my own unique pieces i understand that we are living in a time where the coin is not that much so we should be able to scratch it out a little bit we shouldn't be trying to make enemies and at the same time trying to look good you know we can find affordable pieces we shouldn't say our ear hands nose and teeth i'm just playing but yes guys really we shouldn't be overspending just to look pretty to anyone that was browsing through and came across this channel welcome as well i hope i can have you as a family guys hit the subscribe button down below like share and let's make this happen all right guys so we're going to go right right into the video like i said we have a collective haul it's mostly accessory guys um we're doing we have um two handbags i had a shein package that came that i'm going to unbox for you guys i think it have like one little top and something else i can't remember but i know it's a shoes or top and something else in that box and i have six pairs of shoes from ego i did order some the last time i did my ego i love it this time around i'm kind of on the fence i have look at these shoes i already took them out of the boxes because my recycle day was here and i had to put this trash out so i got them out but i have not worn them yet like out so the fairly new and we have two handbags that we have one from dhk y'all shout out to dhk i'm a big dhk person that's where i found some of my backing prices and we have a couple of jewelry that i did get from a seller that found me on, on whatsapp and i think this jewelry is good i showed some in my last video this is one of the earrings that i'm wearing it's a deal dupe of the deal because they don't have a deal on it but really pretty and i'm wearing one of this chanel bracelet from that person so we're going to go right into the video i think i'm going to start with the shoes because they are the most all right y'all so for the first shoes guys we have this um blue scrappy shoes i will list the name of the shoes in the um description box on, or on the screen of the video so you guys can see i got this because i don't have any color of the shoes it came it has silver even though i love gold but i appreciate i have a couple of stuff that has silver in it and this is like a baby blue it have like a kitty heel it have a buckle so i believe this is some kind of bell buckle shoes and yo i got this on sale i don't buy the original prices shoes i look for the sale one so i got this on sale and it probably was around 14 dollars or 19.99 i 
I will list the price as well. I will see if I can try the shoes on for you guys to see how it fits. But you see, I have now worn it. It's uh, wrapped around on the fourth. That's what I see most of the um, people doing now. So, yeah, beautiful shoes. Love it. I got it in a size seven. I have not tried this one yet, but some of the other ones that I tried, I was a little bit disappointed about how they fit. They didn't fit like the last one. And like I said, with Eagle, I do wear a US 9.5, but with Eagle, I think um, I was getting eight and it seems to be way too big for me. So I went to seven and now it's kind of like, um, I don't know what to say, but a girl's got to wear shoes and the shoes is affordable guys ego shoes are affordable if you're looking for real good designer dupes you go on ego and they got you cover i don't get paid by anybody i have not been contacted by anybody i'm throwing it out there in the universe but i'm just giving you my honest truth i will shop at ego the shoes are in trend the shoes are comfortable and they are very very affordable all right ladies you know we gotta be fabulous on a budget all right that's the first one for the second one i use this today to do like a starting video is this orange shoes i love that it have these square toes unfortunately when i put my feet in here i was hoping it stopped here but my toes just run out it just comes out which is not a good thing for me i don't like it because i feel like as you're walking in the shoes it's going to keep sliding and there's a possibility you can trip from that my bones are not strong so i'm not trying to finish fry during the rest that i have left with that being said i have a very narrow feet maybe that's why so if you have like a wide foot short toes you should be fine my feet is narrow my toes are long so maybe that's what it is but for my girls that i think have like a short foot and a little bit of wide feet this might be your thing the shoe itself is pretty this feels like a like a rock basically this looks and feels like a rock um i love the heel the heel is everything for me but unfortunately i may not be wearing these shoes as much because my feet just slides right out all right guys moving right on we're going to go to the next one i think i said i have six pairs of shoes for you guys more like five Oh, it's six. Oh, sorry. All right. Five, six pairs of ego shoes. For my next ego shoes, I'm so disappointed. I took this out today and I did a starting video with this. I shouldn't say I'm way, way so disappointed, but it felt uncomfortable on my foot. It felt like it would slide out, but I did not adjust the scrap so maybe if i do i will feel more confident with it but this is a black shoes love this this is a square toes as well it's not as wide as the other two i show you this is really sexy this is feminine this can go with a lot ego shoes are durable they're strong they're not like uh, I remember Gusini back in the days. I don't know if anybody remember that store. Like you buy shoes from there and you walk in down the street. Literally my friend was walking and her shoes, the whole heel came out from Gusini. Nice, but was just cheaply made. This is not Eagle. Eagle shoes are well made. They're durable and they're affordable. So yes, it have like a toe in between. Usually you know shoes that have like this where you push your toe in, it's, it's always uncomfortable because there's a possibility your feet will hurt here. So I would just literally get to where I'm going before I wear this. Don't try to do too much walking or too much dancing in it. But it's pretty, it has like this um, heel. 
it's long maybe this is like a 3.5 or 4 inches but the thing is it is not skinny it's not skeletos but it's really pretty and it's really really sturdy if you guys can hear um, me knocking on it i will list the prices and the name of the shoes guys um i think i dropped that paper somewhere i don't know what's the name they don't have the name on this one so i will go back to my order and put the names in them i was so disappointed with this one i wanted the shoes in the blue um it's in like a navy navy blue but they said it was sold out so i like okay i will settle for the orange because it was really cheap out of 7 dollars or 9 dollars and y'all i'm disappointed um so i don't even want to buy the blue because it's the same shoes and i feel like there will be nothing different i don't know if it was squished out that's why um uh, maybe i would grow on it but it's this orange shoes square toes as well the workmanship is fine but i did not like the way how it felt on my foot it had like a cushion in this part of the shoes there's a cushion right here that's supposed to make your foot comfortable the shoe itself is not cushion right here it have a little bit of cushion um it's a wrap around the heel i thought this would come out but this would not come out this is like a white plastic um at the end of the heel and it got a closing right i thought it was something to pop out but no i think it's part of the shoes um i was not crazy about this as much i will wear it but hmm, i don't know i didn't like this batch of shoes they didn't give me joy like the last one the last one gave me a lot of joy these ones not so much that's the third my fourth one moving right on guys oops sorry guys moving right on guys hopefully you guys can hear me better now i got a little wireless um um wireless microphone it seems like it's working i tried it the other day a little bit of background noise was in the background but hopefully it can settle in with this um so yeah all right here <laughs> see here this is a weapon this also has that white plasticky thing that I'm not crazy about because I feel like if you go and you're walking on like a um, one of these wood floor or on the floor, it's just gonna be the cow, cow, cow. And everybody like growing up in Africa, they used to like, yep, a woman have high heels coming. But here, this round shoes, I love different. It was different for me. It have like a round toe. It to have like this. Uh, you put your toes in. I have not tried this on, so I don't know how comfortable or uncomfortable this is. Um, yeah, new color. I just feel I needed something different in nude. I regret that I should have gotten like the um, lavender, the light lavender, because I have a couple of new shoes. I don't know why I pick up this new one. I don't have no lavender shoes, so. I'm looking for a lavender shoes. They have some in this, but I don't want this heel anymore. So that's the reason why I didn't order another one. Um, yeah, but <laughs> this is it. Hopefully I can rock this, but we'll see. You can tell I'm not ready into this other batch of shoes. The last time I was so happy all right last for my last eco shoes in this haul actually i ordered five pairs of shoes this is an old one but i have never worn it and i have never shown you guys so i like oh let me bring this out this is a complete uh dupe of one of the uh, bottega shoes i will find that shoes and list it in here this is a size eight it is okay it fits um all right 
because I have another one and when I put it on it just keep moving up it's the one with the chain on it so it keep dropping off my foot I have to figure a way to stitch that shoes to work because I love it this one have a tie so the tie really helped me um, to keep the shoes on so they knit um, green shoes love it love it love it forgot i even had the shoes and went and ordered two more pairs of green so i think i'm good on the green now um good on the green the blacks and the nudes if we're going to get shoes it's just going to be um some other color that we can incorporate with some of the other pieces we have in our wardrobe all right moving past eco shoes we are going to open the Shein one, like I said, guys, it just came. I just picked it up from the front door. Oh, sorry, y'all. I don't want to show you my address. I just picked that up. And we are going to unplastic this. Because this this is a um, replica of one of the designers. I'm looking at it. I don't Jimmy Choo or Tom Four. I'm not sure which one it is. But I will kind of Google and see what it is and I will, I will kind of like put a picture of the actual designer shoes and I just do a comparison on there for you guys to see. But I really wanted the shoes. I got it from Shein. Shein is another go-to. Shein is my go-to. I just started like, had it, um, going on Ego a lot. I didn't buy a lot of shoes from Shein. I did a lot of clothing from Shein not shoes, but we're gonna keep trying them now and see. So I got, like I told you guys, I got another pair of shoes and sunglasses coming from Shein. I usually use Shein for my clothes and fashion sunglasses if I want to, because it's reasonable, $9.99, why not? All right, so this is what I got from Shein. Let me stop talking so much. Oh, I am so glad they sent me your, um, a hole puncher because I have a couple of belts I need to punch hole in. I am so happy, y'all. Oh, I can take care of them. I got me this orange belt because I have a dress that I want to put together with an orange. I couldn't, I've been looking for orange belt and I like forgot it for she and I like, oh, she is here. And I saw this, I like, I'm gonna get this. It's butterfly. Um, this look like a large to me. I am a medium. I have gone back to medium. I need to lose some of that weight and go back to my small. But yeah, beautiful belt. I got my orange belt now. I got my orange shoes, so I'm going to start. I have a dress. I wish the belt was a little bit bigger, but that's okay. We can make it work. And this was out of $2.99 for this belt. I will list the price below. All right, guys. Let me put this here. I don't want to lose them. Next from Shein is this top. Love the color green. It's my all-time favorite color. All my family knows. So whenever they're buying stuff, they just send me a whole lot of green, which I don't like anymore. Yeah, got this nice baby doll top from Shein. I love this cutting material. Not crazy about this because my skin sometimes itches from that but y'all you can't beat this color. Look at here. This is so pretty. Sprinkly, summery. We got it into color. I'm moving away from my black, my nudes and my cream guys. I got her summer haul coming and you guys can see i think i did a little bit good with my colors but yes very pretty love this love this love this love this um love this sleeve i love sleeve anything that is girty girty it makes me happy so you can tell i'm happy about this one all right i think i got this in a size small but i start going back to my medium because clothes starting to get uncomfortable for me so this is medium and i think it was around eight dollars look for less so let's get into the shoes y'all a lot of people have this so i think this is something you guys have seen oh my god 
this is not disappointing at all y'all mm, it got some plasticky smell on it but yo who cares love the shoes it don't have anything in it that says Shein. it just says size 42 hope it might be a little bit big because i put in for the nine and a half so we'll see normally when i get in the shoes from china either from dhgate or from aliexpress i get like a 41 and this is 42 but who knows oh guys i love the color this is like um it almost savory but it's not silver and kind of like rose gold like this light rose gold tone and yeah it had no design no brand name but yeah i think this was 29.99 for this and yes y'all i think my shoes shopping is kind of over now i just getting one more pair of shoes and that's it i don't think i need any more shoes yeah okay it got a zipper in the back which i love you don't have to keep i love the zipper compared to the buckle if you ask me because that buckle you have to keep putting it back and forth but yes guys um that's that for my shein and yeah this is where we struggle we're going to go over to the handbags then we will do the jewelry last so if you guys saw my last um ego shoes haul you will see i got a shoes i got the shoes first i did not know they have the bag and i was thinking god i got the shoes exact color how am i going to start this which price am i going to do and i was looking through ego and they had this bag for 22 dollars i like i am getting eight even though i will not normally buy bags from ego i prefer not to but i knew for for that particular shoes i had to have a bag that matches it for me to be able to start it with anything and that's what i did i am so happy i got it it's a kind of medium sized bag it had like this um gray interior in here the lining it feels like a little bit like a slake so the zipper does work perfectly you have one zipper pocket and you have two little pockets on the other side it feels like cleaning on one side and the other side feels like a, a little bit like a slate but yeah so this goes will go so perfectly with the shoes i don't know where the shoes at and i'm really exhausted to go look for it but i think if you look at my the other video before that you will see the eco shoes that i did show you guys so i got a bag to match with the shoes all right oh and it came with a scrap as well the scrap is puffy so that's like a puffy bag and puffy shoes and puffy scrap everything puffy about it all right we're going to move on y'all guys i am coming to you guys with a video that will be showcasing the best of my dh gate my handbags most especially guys this this here y'all I have been buying from DHGAN, but I'll tell you so far, this is one of my favorite, if not the best so far. I don't even have to see the authentic one to tell you that this is like, might be really close to the authentic, because if you see the letter, on this bag it is so real i have authentic louis vuitton and 
it is so like when you put them together you like oh my god when i saw when this came unfortunately they didn't send a box or anything i was like you got to be kidding me this seller have really good cool items half of my dhk best of my dhk i'm going to be showing is going to be from this particular seller i bought one i started with his hermes purses i think only two of my hammer presses is not from this seller. Everything else is from them. And I have like six hammer presses. And then I bought a deal. Love it. And here we are with this Louis Vuitton. So this is the Louis Vuitton. I just Googled it because I didn't know which one was then. And it's the LV. mini soft trunk but that's the name let me see because i did take a picture of it and they call this bag the louis Vuitton vigor eyeball mini soft trunk bag guys if you see this bag i am going to put a comparison do you see what i'm talking about you see how close do you see the hardware on this bag I mean do you see the hardware are you looking at this even the scrap you know how sometimes you buy and the scrap is so red this is not it it's, it don't feel heavy. I don't know if the authentic one is heavy. The only thing is light. But man. Mm, I love it. So I have not opened it yet. This is a mini bag. So we have. So you're gonna be seeing it again in my in, in my best of DH kit haul. Yeah, I keep paper this up, okay? And it has like this brown suede lining. You have Louis Vuitton Paris, uh, Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. I'm not sure if it have a dead core. I don't see a dead core on here. Uh, so I'm turning it in and out. Uh, let's see. Nope, I don't see no dead core. It have a little bit of piece on the side but it's not a deco sometimes they come with deco so there is no deco in this one which I am I don't care because I know what it is and I'm not ashamed to say it either I do have authentic ones never mind y'all it have a deco it have a code right there guys this bag is the bomb it's a crossbody it's not handheld this um chain just sits here is fashion but this is a complete crossbody bag put it on and it's like this guys i cannot tell you how close this thing is oh my god this thing passed for authentic. I am not going to lie to you. This bag would pass for authentic. If somebody had given me this bag in a box with a receipt on there, if I didn't pay for it, I would say I got an authentic bag. This is so, so. So this is one of my best purchases from DHK thus far. This is one of my best, best, best purchase. All right, guys. So we have 
that one that was the only two purses we have about my jewelry for the rings i ordered three set of ring i got them in a size eight because i smell it's getting really tight for me one is a uh, dupe of the Dior. This is a dupe of the Louis Vuitton, and this is a dupe of another Dior. So I'm going to try them on so you can see. I think for the ring, I may have paid like eight eight dollars for each of them. They want to say J Dior. If you can see that, I just like the hardware. I think you can open this ring, but the metal is so thick that it's giving me a little bit of headache and it's not going down on any of my fingers so this is probably going to be a picky ring i'm just going to squeeze it if i can to make it a little bit tighter on my picky so this is going to be a picky ring for me love the gold you can see like a little small diamonds in between them forgive my hands if it look white i'm a nurse i watch this thing 100 times a day i try to lotion, lotion as much as i can ain't working but yeah there you go right there beautiful that's the j doll my first deal for the second one y'all i'll tell you it's another it's another deal so this what goes with this necklace this one i got way back go from voya i don't think they even even um is it voya or how you call them i don't know it will start from v they're not even operating anymore and this all oh right Pretty, 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 pretty. Love this bracelet as well. See that on my hand? Really pretty. It's a little bit big on my finger because my actual ring size is 7.5, but you know, nobody be setting no half size. I struggle because I, my everything is half size. Shoes is 9.5, jewelry is 7.5. No, so I'm a half. <laughs> that's why I struggle and the next one oh, it's the same one and where is the last one this is a copy of Kristen Louis no it's Louis Vuitton I keep saying Kristen Louis Vuitton but this is Louis Vuitton this will be a little bit big but you have this like that and you have like a two little dangling and yeah so I don't know this is too small for a picky ring but then at the same time it's too so there you go right there so now we're gonna move the rest of them is bracelet and it says stainless steel so this is a dope it don't have it just says f f f like fanny but it's a dupe and uh, we're going to open this i got this like three days ago but i wanted to open it with you guys so you can see like i always say if you for any reason need this seller info to get any of these items let me know i have started leaving my email address leave a comment let me know how i can reach to you because i try not to pull nothing in the link that's against our uh, youtube policy i know a lot of people um do it but you know everybody don't have the same blessing so i try to stick with the rules So, beautiful. This is double chain. I don't know if I'm crazy about this one. <clears throat> All right, we got it. This is how it looks when I put it on. 
this is like a how do we call this i was trying stuff until the end of stuff in this thing i'll take it out when i take it out um charm this is like a charm bracelet double I don't even know how it look on I me, mean, y'all. I'm just looking at it from from your end too. It have all the FF. It got one red, mostly all gold, but just one red, and that's a white. It turned over, just a white, and then you have all the golds, and you got one black. So you have a couple of colors. We got black. It turned over. We got red, white, and we got red, and then two gold. So that's that. For this one stainless steel so you know you're going to be staying a long time it's not going to tarnish easily and we have that for our next one is another stainless steel but this is lv And it's a charm as well. I don't know why I bought charm because I don't even love I don't even like charm bracelet. I don't know why I got them. Um, I'm going before I break it. There's just a single. Oh, this is pretty. You have the locked and key. You have the flower. You have a locked. You have a beaker. Beautiful, well designed locked. So let me turn it this way so you guys can get a better view. See that? You got two locks, one key, uh, one flower everything really beautiful and then at the end of this one is the lv let me see if i can try this on for you guys you can see this is how it is when i get somebody to do it we will do it the other way and you can see all of this beauty right there so yes y'all and i got the lv on the end stainless steel if i'm not making mistake these bracelets were like out of 18 bucks for a piece and the rings were eight eight dollars next is another louis bracelet this one just don't say anything it's just a flower you don't have no louis but it's a dupe of the louis vuitton or the what's the other guy name but i think this is a dupe of the louis vuitton uh, let's see if we have anything in crave here. I think it's the LV on here. Um, so, it's this one right here. Like that. So, if we put this on. A little bit short they did not say stainless steel or anything on it so i don't know how long this will hold up for but that's it right here and the last jewelry which will be bringing us to the end of this haul last but not the least is another louis vuitton but this one is in like a form of a bangle and y'all this is stainless steel as well because it's just like the chanel one chanel one is bigger this is smaller it have a there's a plastic stuck on this thing i'm trying to not break it let's see if we can get it out if now we're gonna go find the scissors and we did get it out so you got the lv right there you have the lv in crave all in here it's all in there you turn it around stainless steel and there is a 
LV, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's engraved inside the bangle. Yeah, <laughs> I figure, I figure somebody show me how to open this bangle. You just push them down, I swear I didn't know how to do this. It's a, it's a guy that have to teach me how to put on my bangle as a woman. So yeah, this is this. So, okay guys, I'm telling you, we can be fabulous on a budget. We can look beautiful on a budget. We don't have to say our arms, our legs, our feet, our teeth, or whatever it is. To be fabulous. We can be fabulous at any price range. So guys, this is my intake for today. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the video what you would like to see next. I do a lot of sit down videos. I do a lot of bags and styling haul because I love to dress. I love dressing up and I'm cheap. I don't like to spend a lot. I buy most of my clothes from Marshall, um, TJ Maxx and Ross. I'm telling you, I do some online shopping, but mostly Marshall, Ross, TJ Maxx. I go in there, feed them and wear them. Doesn't mean I'm not going to support other designer, but if I can get it for an affordable price and look good, look presentable, that's what counts. I do do targets, go in there sometimes, get some of the black designer um, clothes but on a sale price. But yes, let me know, guys. Let me start rambling too much. I'm talking with you guys. I'm feeling more comfortable today for some reason. But I will see you, beauties, in the next one. Bye, loves. Yay!